Good day. For today's video, I will teach you how to play piano. So let's start with the basics of a piano. So here I have a 88 keys digital keyboard. So Yamaha P45. So we have this uh, electronic keyboard. A keyboard is composed of white keys and the black keys. So first thing you need to do is to locate a key. So let's start with the middle C. So when learning how to play the piano, basically we we need to go to the basic. Uh, so let's start with the first note and the key is which is the letter C. So to find the middle C or the C, you need to locate the two black keys in the piano. So in this case, I have these two black keys. And then on this on the left of the black key is where the C is located. So here so another two black keys here. So this is the C. So another two black keys here. This is the C. So same with the left side of the piano. Two black keys here. This is the C. Two black keys. This is the C. Two black keys here. This is the C. So, in learning the notes of the piano, we use the alphabet. So, from C, we will go to another tone. So, from C, we will go up by one. So, we have a D. So, this is called a tone. So, from C to D, uh, there are two white keys separated by a black line. So, this is called a tone. So it is a step, or in other terminologies, it is called a step. And then when we do half step, it's also it is also called semitone. So from C, the half step is C sharp. So this is the black keys. So these are the sharp of the white keys. So from C we have this half step or semitone C sharp. And also this C sharp is also called D flat. So, the sharp or flats are sometimes used interchangeably. So, the D, when you use the D, and you go back one semitone backward, so it's a flat. So, in this case, it is the D flat. So another example, this is called F. So, up in the three lines, you will find the left tone, left key, which is F. So one semitone higher or one half step is the F sharp and it is also called G flat. So this is the G, one semitone backward or one half step backward is the G flat. So okay, that's all for the uh, letters of the notes. So let's go to the staff notation. So in reading notes, um, there is what we call the staff. It is consisted of five lines and a symbol in the left. So the symbol in the left, as a, such as like letter S, is what we call the treble clef or the G clef. So the treble clef is where our right hand plays the melody or the chords. And then the left hand is called the bass clef or the F clef. So as you can see, there are two dots in the middle of that dot. That uh, is the letter F. And then the treble clef uh, in the middle of the S symbol is the letter G. So we have this G and the F. So let's go first to the treble clef. So the treble clef is consisted of notes um, let's start first with the middle C. In the below the staff, uh, we will locate the middle C. So it is a symbolized by a line, small line below the five line. So the lowest note in the treble clef is the E. So the second line is G, third line is B, fourth line is D, 
and the fifth line above is the F. So we have an acronym for this. It's uh, Elephant Gets Big Dirty Feet. So E G B D F. Elephant Gets Big Dirty Feet. Okay? And then we have the notes in between lines. So these are F, A, C, and E. Or sometimes they call it face. So that's the treble clef. Let's go to the bass clef. So like the treble clef, we will locate the middle C, but this time it is above the five lines of the stop. So let's name the notes in the line. So, so let's start with the bottom line. So it, it is called the G, followed by the B, followed by the D, F and the A. So we have an acronym for this. Good boy does fine always. So that's the acronym uh, that can be helpful to us to remember the note. Also, in between lines, we have these notes A, C, E, and G. So all cow eat grass. So this, uh, these are the basic notes of the stops. So let's go to the another important topic, which is the time signature. So basically, our music have different tempos, different speeds. So time signature is very important. So time signature is consisted of two numbers. The number in the top represents the beats in a measure, and the number in the bottom it it, it represents the tone in which the beat is being played off so the measure it is the it is separated by bar lines so and it contains the beat so let's uh hear what does the four and four four mean so the four four sounds like this one two three four one two three four one two three four or in the piano one two three four one two So that's the 4-4. Four, four. So let's try the 3 and 4. 3-4 three, four, time signature. So it sounds like this. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So in piano. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's the basic knowledge of time signature. So, in reading scales and notes, we have this what we call the note values. So, note values, for example, we have a full note and a full rest. So, we have a half note, half rest, quarter note, quarter rest, eighth note, eighth rest, sixteenth note, and sixteenth rest. So, these are the, when we say rest, it is, uh, there are no keys being played. So, and then when we say the note, so these are the melody, of course, we, we play. So, for example, a whole note sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, a half note sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, a quarter notes sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And eight notes sounds like this. So, and so on and so forth. So, that's it for the time signature. So, let's apply all our knowledge earlier and let's play a song so this is called this song is called Frere Jacques so it's a famous melody for children so I will show the notes on the screen and let's play it, this song sounds like this So I, 
as you can see, that there are quarter notes and a half note. So, quarter note, half note, eighth note. Half note. So that's a basic uh, song applying the five signature, treble clef, um, notes, half note, quarter note. So I hope you enjoy listening, watching, and you have uh, new knowledge in your piano journey. So. On my next video, I will teach a uh, basic finger exercise and uh, hand independence, and also as, and also my techniques on how to do instrumentals and play music by ear. So you can watch my videos for several instrumental covers of uh, famous songs. So that's it, and I hope I give value to you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.